how do you feel? Not only about receiving this prize, but more being involved in this big project. So, so. Yes, um, I mean, I was very surprised when I my agent called me to say, you know, I've been selected. You know, I've only done one film. Um, I mean, amazing. I'm a big fan of a lot of uh, European TV and film. So to come here, I've never been to the festival before. Um, it's huge, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a very big thing, but uh, everybody's very lovely and uh, I feel proud to represent the UK and be among these people. It's, it's, it's really cool, yeah. Do you have time to talk with your colleagues? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's nice with actors, I feel like no matter where anyone is from, it's like actors are like uh, children in a playground, you know, so uh, once we get together, we, we play and we laugh and... Uh, it's, they're all very individual, very special. You can see uh, some kind of quality in each of them, and it's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Can you feel this uh, type of European soul? Yeah. I mean, even in, in the work, I mean, I feel like you can't deny there is a, 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 a some kind of difference in the style. You know, there's something very, uh, subtle about performance and direction um, in Europe, you know, the French films I've seen, the German films I've seen, um, the Italian films I've seen. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I can feel that thing uh, and I like it. Yeah, I went to uh, La Rochelle TV Festival last year and uh, the spirit of it, the spirit of having so many different countries together uh, in the name of, of film is, is really beautiful. So you have a Guinness uh, roots, right? Ghanaian. Ghana. 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 Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Ghana. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. So what do you think when uh, England, UK decided to go out from the EU? Uh, yeah, you know, oh, I mean, I, for example, I came to Berlin to write the second series of my show. You know, I went to Berlin. I went to Zurich. I went to Italy, um, Florence to write. I find leaving the UK inspiring, you know, and then to think that now there'll be like a, a, a huge official legal di divide is uh, very disappointing. I think I'm disappointed in, I know it's, I shouldn't say it because it's too late, it's happening, but disappointed that we made uh, such a decision. It's, we have to make the most. I just hope that I won't feel Brexit, you know, I, I want to, I wish it, I can behave and cross and meet people as if it's not happening, you know, that's the dream. The dream is that it's as if it didn't happen, you know, so, yeah. So this uh, interview will be uh, it's for the Goethe Institute, the mm -hmm. German uh, institution. Do you know some German words? Only in Danke schon. Yeah, only two. <laughs> Danke. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I can't remember. Like no. play, uh, something you are reading. No. no. And what did you like about Berlin? You came already. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was here for a month, um, writing two two years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, what do I like about it? Uh, the every, everybody is kind of not following each other. You see, people just have their individual style. Um, there's no. I don't see a pressure to conform to something. Also, the people are very friendly. I made friends here two years ago that I'm still friends with now. I've gone on holiday, you know, with, with people that I met here, just writing, you know. You sit somewhere, you write, and someone will talk to you, which doesn't happen in London. It's very, uh, you don't even look at people in London, you know. So that's something I like about Berlin, yeah. Well, where do you live here? Uh, oh, in Mitte, near Soho House, but... I can't remember the name of the place, like an Airbnb. Oh, then I also live near, you know where they have the market? Uh, Kreuzberg or? Was it Kreuzberg? Yeah, like oh, I went to Kreuzberg because my friend lived in Kreuzberg, okay. but I didn't live there. Um, yeah, near the, uh, you know, you, I, I don't know, it's very hard to like remember. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. So you, you're right. Uh, you, you perform, you direct. Uh, which order do you, you like to do the things? Uh, oh, hmm. well, it depends on what perspective. So in terms of ease, I think it's easier to act, uh, especially when the role is very rounded, you know, and you're, it's all there. Your only job is to bring it, to, you know, to, off the page. It's the most fun. You know, it's, I love acting. I also 
I love writing for very different reasons. You know, writing is really hard. You are isolated a lot. I write alone. So it's me by myself all the time, which can be, uh, you know, but, um, I also know that, for example, if there is a part and I don't take the part, somebody else will take the part and the thing will exist. But if I have a story in mind and I don't write the story, nobody can write the story and the story will never exist. So I feel a duty to uh, write the stories that I have in my heart or in my mind. Um, so although I enjoy acting more, which one is more Im- I can't pick. I don't know. I don't know. I also love directing. I love uh, producing. I co-produce my show. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just... Uh, each one is dear to me for different reasons. Like if you have children, you can't pick your favorite child, you know? Yeah.